something people don't get on my case for that I'm surprised is the fact that I actually like my own videos. I do this because, believe it or not, nobody's going to watch my video unless someone rates it. That's the truth. However, I'm not going to dislike my own video. And what I've realized is that my most watched videos have one or two or maybe even half dislikes. So I do recommend that some people actually get rustled by this. And if you are rustled by this, dislike the video because without the... I'm not going to get fucking viewers. I need the dislikes more than the likes, actually. In fact, I would do much better if that ratio was a lot worse. Okay, maybe because people are disliking the video, they're going to assume that it's a terrible video. And for all the cases, it might be a terrible video. But it's mostly because they look at the green to red ratio and they become manipulated by that. Aside from all that bullshit, I want to talk about stereotypes. I already spoke about misogyny, and it was kind of interesting. But I also want to speak about stereotypes, because nothing showcases a bigger sacred cow than breaking through from your stereotype. And a lot of the stereotypes people do nitpick on hate are distortions of actual unrealistic stereotypes that are actually much more interesting. For example, a lot of people hate the stereotype that all black guys are gangsters because it showcases them as violent, pathologically... I guess, apathetic, cruel, violent, unintelligent, uneducated, all these things. And that's why something as largely irrelevant as the race realists in the American Renaissance can have a following. Yes, it's from autistic people kind of comic-conning on useless things like allele frequencies, but... It, there's a reason that has a following, because it just affirms stereotype and stereotype type threat. But I want to make that point interesting because I always found a stereotypical black guy, the '90s from Gun Held Sideways Gangster, more interesting than the non-stereotypical actual. Black hood nigga, or just lower level black guy, because the stereotypical black guy is an archetype of masculinity, and that's why people tend to like him. That's why that TV crowd is kind of into him. That's why females think that, well, non-white females think that that nigga dick is wavy. Which, in reality, it's not always that wavy. In terms of size, too. But, I'm not one to speak. I got a 4-incher. When it's soft, but... And in a really, really cold... Time in the winter, after a long shower. But, in actuality... The reason this stereotype is portrayed, besides the Jewish question, is the out of Africa theory. The theory that blacks are the motherland, that they're Adam and Eve, that they're foundational, masculine, patriarchal people, when in reality they're matriarchal, not a lot of black guys have LeBron James build. They're not 
these big mesomorphs that were that if you watch the NFL you'll see a lot. They fit more in the NBA kind of archetype, these lizardy kind of guys. Not Terry Crews, but rather Kevin Durant, Chris Bosch, those tall, skinny guys. They're, they're usually very scrawny, I notice. If they're not scrawny, they're laced with fat, but that's usually because... I blame that on the diet that we kind of encourage people to have. They don't have the same level of carb tolerance or sugar level that a white guy might have, so they'll blow up, and I feel sorry for them for that reason. But these aren't patriarchal, masculine, strong people. They're not necessarily protective of their women, but they are very much below the concept of patriarchy most of the time. And the reason I say most of the time is because some of my closest black friends fit the stereotype, actually. They're aggressive, competitive, strong, masculine, attractive people. They aren't. <laughs> and I guess it's because I tend to gravitate towards charismatic people. When I do gravitate towards people, because as an introvert, you're not allowed to be towards yourself. You're going to get harassed by lower cro mags that think, oh, this guy is alone, so he must be a miserable little virgin. Let's try to win on this parade. So instead of letting that happen and me setting myself up for hanging out with stupid people, I hang out with the charismatic people. And some of those black guys do fit that stereotypical mode where, get, where yes, they're violent at times. And they're by no means an intellectual vanguard, but they fit that strong, primitive, masculine stereotype that does exude sexuality and they can get behind. The next stereotype is more closely related to Brahmin sacred cows. And that's... That's the fucking gay question. Gays are portrayed on television as being the Lance Bases of the world. Or Lance Bass, actually. That's really how you pronounce your name. Just these uh, attractive... Well, not even Lance Bass, actually, because Lance Bass kind of has a freaky look to him. But he did do the voice of Sephiroth for the original Kingdom Hearts, and I thought his take on it was badass. No, I'm probably thinking of Matt Bomer, the guy that played Neil Caffrey. That guy got turned down, apparently, for a Superman role. The, another guy took over the Man of Steel role because they outed him as a gay guy. And the guy that took the Man of Steel role kind of looks like Neil Caffrey, so <laughs> it sucks to be him, but gay guys are portrayed as essentially, and this is a distortion, these attractive, sort of, clean-cut alpha males that even though they don't, because they don't like the vagina, they're easily going to impress the vagina with their witty retorts and their snark and their sass. They always got to be a sassy gay guy. Actually, one of my favorite internet characters from, I think, the Second City Network was the sassy gay guy. But... Let's see. In actuality, alpha isn't really measured by sassability. 
in that logic, my sense of humor would have made me the most alpha person in the world back in 09. Or even in 06. And you can tell I'm not rolling women. I do like them. So, in reality, you're going to get the bear gaze. You're going to get the uh, chubby, freaky gaze. You're not going to get the clean cut gaze. In fact, watch any documentary showing real life footage of gay guys. It's, it's not an episode of Glee. It's not the grassy. It's none of that shit. And really, beta males are sassy. These gay guys that uh, they kind of fluctuate around their moms and they're very protective of any females or BFFs. They're not alpha as fuck. And there's no denying this. Some of the gay guys I do have as friends, and I hate the fact that I'm kind of reinforcing the fact that, yes, I live in New York. The ones I do enjoy hanging out with are the ones that do showcase the fact that they're man's men. They're the men of men. These are the guys that are cops... But not the piggy kind. They hate pig cops. Uh, they're concerned with Second Amendment rights. All that good shit. These are men. Not divas. And the third is the dumb blonde stereotype. Isn't that ironic? That the stereotype for... What we usually envision as the Aryan. You could say that the Aryan could be a hazel-eyed, light brown-haired person. Or you can say that the Aryan is a ginger with green eyes, but people don't really like gingers. I'm not sure if the fact that they have souls is, has been confirmed or not. I think they have souls. They, they have souls. I couldn't imagine any other way for them to continue existing in such a manner. They didn't have souls. But the dumb, we think of the blonde. And in all fairness, the lower class person that adopts Hollywood's idea that you should dye your hair artificially blonde and get blue-eyed contacts. I mean, you got Puerto Rican girls around here, or Dominican girls that sport that look all the time. They might even do their eyebrows blonde. I'm really apologetic if a certain someone <laughs> is watching this and they heard me say that shit. No, no... No beef. <laughs> but, upon hearing that, you can tell where these stereotypes are being constructed from. They're all kind of Jew-made. And ironically, another stereotype, the last one, is that Jews are these all-powerful melons, the guys that control the banks. These are Jews kissing their own asses, when the typical Jew, a Jew I see around this nice area in New York, the sections, ten, five blocks up in here, then here, that are made just for them, they're introverted, they're kind of awkward, I see them with girls, and they're definitely not getting any playtime, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. They tend to be super introverts, not the melons that we should be afraid of. They're really causing the problems. Although, their personalities and their flaws, they aren't that difficult to tell. Anyway, suck my dick.